First of all, could I say how much we enjoyed the film and how poignant we found it? And, and certainly from my own perspective, particularly in terms of the casualty handling, it, uh, it resonated an awful lot in terms of our own experience of being on a battlefield and, and then surviving after. And of course, there was no help for heroes in those days to be able to pick up the mantle. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. That means a lot. Well, it's, I mean, it's absolutely fascinating because it's a it's a it's a real tribute to those people that, that fought in the war. And well, I mean, you know, it, it, it's interesting you say that because really we've just focused on two men. Yeah. Um, but through those two men, you begin to understand what all the millions of, of uh, privates and corporals went through in that time. You know, um, that they're that they're individualized. They're very particular. They're yeah. they're characters who you associate with and you become emotionally attached to. Um, but they could be, they're two amongst two million, you know, could, they could be anyone. Listen, listening to you opening up the premiere and uh, hearing you talking about your granddad, it was quite very, well, it was very inspiring. Uh, Thank you. Looking back to how you can see it now as a fully product. Yeah. Do you, when you, can you remember back them stories that you were told and listened to and does it feel like you've done what you wanted to achieve and it feel, how does it feel? Well, it's, it's moving because it's the first time I've ever told a story that's that personal, you know. Um, and I think about him and I think he probably would have loved the fact that he was a storyteller. But the most articulate thing for me was the fact that he never spoke about it until he was in his 70s. Mm -hmm. And that itself told me something. He wasn't ready to and, and it was too difficult for whatever reason. And, and I, I suppose that's, uh, that's a common thread through war experiences.